Being able to craft a, an effective summary is an essential skill in academic work. Oftentimes, a summary uh, is a part of a larger piece of writing where you're both summarizing and then responding. But it's important to kind of keep in mind what are the key aspects that need to be included in just the summary portion itself. When you're preparing a summary, you have to think about what the goals are of summary. And there are essentially three main goals. The first is for you to communicate the primary information of the text that's being summarized. So you want to be able to communicate what this text is all about, what the text is trying to say, if it's an argument, what the primary argument of the text is, if it's an informational piece, what is the primary information that the original is trying to get across to its reader. You'll want to include the main point of the original as well as any specific details from the original that are important. But because this is a summary, it's always going to be less than what was in the original. So you won't be able to include every detail that was in the original, but you do want to include the primary details and you want to include specific details from that original. It's also important to make sure that you're giving your reader a sense of the original source, so a sense of where this information comes from, so that your reader could go back and look at the original, um, also so that your reader knows that the information that you're summarizing comes from that source and doesn't come from you. An initial step that you should take when you're preparing a summary is to begin by making note of the primary positions or information in the original. One way you can do that is, is to underline or highlight key details within the original source. Pay particular attention to any specific supporting details that would be important for you to include, supporting details that your reader would need to have to have a full understanding of what happened in the original, even if that reader that you have is not going to read the original. When you're creating a summary, you want to be very careful to give credit back to that original author and back to that original source. You want to be paying attention to who is writing or saying the information. Pay attention to what information in the original was quoted from somebody else. Pay attention to what information uh, in the original uh, is, is part of the original author's position and what information in the original is, is information that the author is bringing in from additional sources. You want to think about where this information is coming from. So for example, the publication that it's coming from, the ideology of the, of the person who's creating this. So if uh, you were, for example, summarizing something that was political in nature, you'd want to pay attention to um, what political party uh, this person uh, is uh, ascribing to. You'd want to pay attention to um, what the person's job is, um, if this person is a professional in the field. You also want to be thinking about what would your reader need to know uh, before, uh, before reading this, or this summary. So for example, if you're, if you're summarizing something that's highly technical, are there any pieces of information that the that your reader would need to have in order to fully understand the information that you're summarizing. Context is really important, so giving your reader a clear sense right off the bat of who the author is, where the information comes from, and what the primary purpose of the original is, uh, is vital to a summary. Uh, that should come at the very beginning of summarized information. In a simple summary where you're summarizing just one piece, you'd want to make sure that that information comes right at the beginning of that simple summary. When we talk about the author, the first time we mention an author, we, we, we can mention that author's both first and last name. But from that point on, the convention is to mention the author by last name only. So for example, if I was uh, if I was summarizing a piece by Adrian Rich, at first I would mention Adrian Rich, but from then on I would refer to her as Rich. With authors throughout a summary, we don't use titles for those authors. So we don't say Ms. Rich, Mrs. Rich, Mr. Johnson. 
we just use the last name. The one exception to that might be if we are using a academic title like doctor. Um, but again, unless the, the author is making clear that that title is being used for that author um, on the uh, title byline, uh, using the last name is, is usually always appropriate. So an example opening for a summary then would include the title of the piece, the author's name, and the purpose. So an example of that might be, in Claiming an Education, Adrian Rich argues that students should actively claim their educations rather than merely receiving them. You'll see that at the beginning of this, Claiming an Education is the title of the piece that I'm summarizing, Adrian Rich is the author's name, and then the part that follows is the main purpose or point of the speech. Even if you've attributed at the beginning, throughout your summary, you want to continue to attribute. You want to continue to say that this information is coming from that source as you give each new piece of information. So for example, Rich says, and then give the information. Rich goes on to say, and then give the information. She explains that, and then give the information. The reason for doing this, especially uh, even in a simple summary where you're just summarizing one, one source, is that you're practicing that ability to show where information is coming from so that when your summary information gets more complicated, when you're, say, summarizing information from two or three or more authors, it becomes clear to your reader which information is attributed to which author and which information then becomes your own information, which, in, which arguments, which positions are the positions that you are taking. If you get sloppy with the attribution, if you don't mention where it's coming from throughout, your writing will begin to sound like the information is coming from you when in fact it's coming from this source. By keeping these ideas in mind, you can craft a pretty, pretty thorough, careful, clear summary uh, that should satisfy the needs of your reader.